What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be spending some time inside of my car. I know I'm a hot sweaty mess. Believe it or not, it's midwinter and you'd never know it. I've been detailing the car, getting it ready for possible cars of coffee if we don't get rained out, but I was checking the internet and oh my goodness, it is finally finally revealed the spy shots the test mule of the s650 mustang so that is what we are going to be doing today is talking about that giving you my thoughts and input as a mustang enthusiast as a car enthusiast what i see right off the bat and there is a lot to talk about guys because we want to break down every aspect of this car that we can see in the two to three uh, pictures revealed of this test mule and uh what the future looks like for Mustang. But let's go guys, let's dig into it. Dita has released some of this and I'm sure it's all over like Mustang 6G at this point, but if you have not seen uh, any of this footage yet, this is your video because we're gonna break this down hardcore style. We're gonna start with uh, the front, work our way to the rear, and there's a lot to talk about because this is not a clean sheet build. Now, remember, 2015, the S550 came out, and then it got refreshed for 2018. Now, 2018 was not a clean sheet build. It's based off of the same S550 chassis, but there was a whole lot that changed. Um, we got a new motor. We got a new transmission. We got new uh, interior bits somewhat, some new styling, and then the exterior changed ever so slightly. Now, the same thing is going to happen again, unfortunately. So, you know, uh, it's been out since 2015. We're in 2022 at this point, so this is going to be a very long run for I'm gonna call the S550.3 so we had number one and then we had 2018 to 2022 possibly 2023 just depending on when the S650 comes out but guys this is not going to be a clean sheet build now it has been discussed on the internet so far that there's going to be different engine choices and hybrid options I don't know about full electric yet I don't think that Ford is there quite yet for the Mustang but it will be coming unfortunately now um, I have spent some time in like the Mach-E Mustang and as much as I want to hate that thing and as much as I will say it's still not a Mustang it does drive good. It's pretty fun. But I like my ICE engines, my internal combustion engine. I like bad gas mileage and I like vroom vroom noises. But here we go. All right, starting with the front. We're going to blow up the front here. And again, you know, this is heavily camouflaged. So we're not going to be able to see everything that's going on. Ford does a really good job of hiding all of uh, what they would all want you to see. But uh, thankfully, we have some telltale signs of some things that are going on. So front grille, um, it looks like it possibly could be a little bit more open than what you'd find on the current Mustang already. And uh, if you look down in the, uh, like the bottom left and right corners of towards the ground, closer to the wheels, uh, going into the fenders, it looks like uh, that area is actually opened up quite a bit. So could it be, GT500 esque, GT350 esque, I don't know. You know, it might actually kind of look like a Mach 1. Maybe. We're going to move up from there and go to the headlight. And we can tell already that it looks like it's going to be a similar design, but it looks like some new LED options going on there. I don't see any of those those classic, you know, three striped, uh, the shark eye thing, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, which which has been notorious for the 2015 through 2022 at this point Mustang. Um, I don't see any of that going on, unfortunately. That is kind of one of the cool things about the front end of the Mustang that you can really tell from a distance it coming at you but you can you can definitely tell a Mustang from those three lights on each headlamp so anyway moving on um the hood it's hard to tell there might be some venting going on there it does look like maybe it's no nah, it doesn't look like too much of a cow it it looks probably similar i'm sure it's going to have a different shape than uh you know what's going out uh, we're going to continue on the wheels you got some base wheels are not going to give you uh, their answers for what's going to be coming on the production car. Remember, this is not production. None of this, and a lot of this might even change. So, but anyway, you got base wheels, and then it looks like it's got base brakes too, to be expected on a test mule. Um, rocker panels look probably similar, and then the door, the door looks as far as we can tell, and you could actually pick up some of the body line across the door and uh, the front fender, and that looks pretty reminiscent of what's on the Mustang already. Again, this is not a clean sheet build. They're just going to, this is gonna be a heavy refresh, if you will. The side mirrors look identical to what we already have so far. Um, the roof line, all that looks the same. Yeah, we can't really tell the interior, 
Not really, not yet. That is also supposed to change dramatically. S550 interior is supposed to be going away and supposed to be completely redone. So, but just remember that the chassis and a lot of the mechanics, the suspension, all that's still going to be S550 Mustang. And then probably bumped up and revised a little bit. You know, maybe it'll handle a little bit better. Maybe some more electronics going on. Maybe there's going to be an all-wheel drive option. Don't know. We do know that there's going to be hybrid options for engines. Anyway, so we're going to move back to the quarter panels. And this is interesting because if you look at the top, Let's go to the top, the back top of the roof. You see that there's a hump there. What is going on there? Why is, what is this? I don't think this is a convertible. It's definitely not. No, if you go all the way up, no, it's definitely not a convertible. This is a coupe. So they're hiding something. There's a bulge there on the top, and it looks like that they are possibly hiding something but you know ford does this on purpose they camouflage their test mules uh pretty extensively so that it's very hard to tell but i think that there's something going on now on the left and right upper quarter panel where you would find your quarter glass you have two circles on each side you don't get to see the glass in this uh in these pictures here so i wonder why they're hiding that what's changed back there as far as quarter panel goes yeah it's definitely going to be a tough one here so dig these pictures apart and let me know what you think in the comments about all of what you see here because there's a lot going on there's a lot to talk about but interesting to see um that you know all of that is he so heavily camouflaged in the back of the car you know i feel like the front is kind of a giveaway but the back of the car there's a lot of stuff that's hidden and other things that i can pick up on so i see base brakes in the, in the back of the car uh to be expected again test mule now the headlights or i'm sorry the tail lights the rear tail lights pay attention because from what I can see here in this test view, I don't see anything reminiscent of the past seven or eight years of Mustang. Okay, so that looks to be all changed. It looks like we have a few dots. Will they be the classic, you know, tri tail lights? I don't know. Ford may split away from that. They have done that in the past. Remember 1994, it went horizontal instead of vertical. So, um, time will tell. You know, this these are the very first pictures to, um, consider what we see here but anyway so the rear diffuser in this test mule at least we can see uh no quad exhaust so maybe this is a a smaller eco boost model or some kind of a lower engine option i don't know but anyway remember test mule so uh this is not production it's going to change i would highly expect it does look like it's probably got some kind of a spoiler on the back given the hump on the uh, the rear of the trunk lid there and um yeah tough to tell what's going on but you know it's interesting the front end looks like it's going to be pretty aggressive um, from what we can tell in the pictures there's a couple of humps there it definitely looks like we have a more aggressive front end going on here front fascia front grille probably going to allow for more cooling and stuff like this for all and i don't think that this is like some kind of a performance package model at all given the base brakes and everything else and the lack of arrow that we can see but um i think that it's going to be interesting time will tell what's going to be revealed in all of this so let me know in the comments what do you think about these pictures so far what do you think about all of this? Because I'm I'm trying to dig it apart, and it looks interesting. It really does. It, this is this looks like a base model mule that looks like a coupe. It does not, to me, look like a convertible. And uh, I would like to see, of course, what's under the skin, and you know that will all be revealed in time. But uh, you know, a lot of you guys in the comments have been around a little bit longer than me as far as Mustangs go. So you know, we've seen this stuff. We see this stuff all the time. These test mules come out and they're heavily camouflaged and over time people really start to dig these apart and uh, you know we can pick up on a couple of things here and there and then as time goes on more test mule uh, photographs are going to come out so first time seeing this channel definitely subscribe turn the notification bell on because we're going to be digging this thing apart as more news becomes available this is just kind of a quick video because this just got revealed today and uh, i'm excited to be able to get you the, the information out there this is a big deal this is another Mustang coming out. It's not a clean sheet build. You know, we wanted to see that, but Ford knows what they're doing. Usually, uh, in my opinion, they get it right about 95% of the time. The other 5%, in my opinion, they kind of mess up on purpose almost. But I'm just nitpicking. I love Mustang. I love cars. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to leave you guys to it. Explore these photos. Let me know what you think, what you see in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Get ready for more Mustang content because I'm very excited uh, to possibly 
even purchase one of these whenever they become available. So get ready. Get ready, yes. But until next video, God bless all of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.